let's um let's switch gears and talk about OTT Burst. Um, you know, I had I had my site Streaming Learning Center, and and I've contributed a lot to streaming media over the years. Uh, you kind of came out of nowhere and really grabbed a, a big a big share and, and, and in a big way. Well, you know, what was the idea behind OTT Verse, and you know, what has it grown into over the years? So the story is very simple. I was tired of working twelve years on the trot. So I, when the pandemic hit, I just took a break um, and I started writing. I I had always blogged and written about obscure stuff, recipes, cricket, and stuff like that. Uh, so I had a lot of, yeah. I had a lot of notes lying around, so I cleaned them up, put them online, and it suddenly pick up, became popular. People uh, approached me to sponsor articles and put ads on the website. Um, and then one thing led to the other, and we decided to make it a business. So uh, that's how it started off. I think our, uh, our foundation and our goal is always uh, spreading knowledge. Um, I, I found it very tough to switch. When I was in harmonic earlier, so I found it very tough to switch between transcoding and OTT. Um, I just couldn't find proper material which would go in depth. So I tried to just put my notes online and help others as well. So what are your, you know, what statistics do you share about viewership? Um, you know, how many, so how many eyeballs? Geographically, we are 55% uh, US and EU put together, 20% uh, India. And the rest is spread across Asia and Latin and the UK. Uh, that's our geographical spread. It's mostly from the US and the uh, European Union. Then in terms of uh, viewership, we are we are flirting with 100,000 views per month number. Uh, sometimes it's up, down. We'll probably be consistently above that in the next couple of months. What's the distribution? I mean, who's, who's looking? Is it big company, small company, developer, you know, OTT programmer? I mean, who's, who do you see? coming to your site. That's interesting, actually. So uh, a lot of statistics actually we get out of LinkedIn uh, because we have a pretty active channel over there. Uh, so what we've seen is uh, when it's deeply technical, uh, we have the folks who love tech who come in. So it might be a programmer, it might be an entry, entry level engineer. Uh, it could be as high as a CTO, uh, but mostly on the tech side of things. And we have a lot of explainer articles, which kind of uh, simplify stuff like what is client side ad insertion. So I've actually met a lot of marketing teams uh, who read that and find it easy to understand and then explain it to others. Um, and then we have also started a few opinion pieces, interviewing OTTs, business owners. So that drives, that obviously attracts a slightly different crowd. Uh, the C levels and directors. So we have a healthy mix, and I think that's how we'd like it to be. 